Hello everyone, welcome to the PyCharm Fast API tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to connect Fast API with Postgres. Before moving ahead, let us connect to our Postgres database via the DataGrip plugin, which is already bundled in PyCharm Professional. I'll click on the database tool, then click on plus, and I will choose Postgres. I provide the necessary credentials like username and password and database name. I click on test connection just to verify everything is working fine. You can see that there are no tables, so let's begin by creating our database connection. I will create a db.py file. I do the necessary imports from SQL Alchemy and the config file from where I will need the environment variables like username, password, etc. I create the connection string and name the variable, all caps, SQL Alchemy under database under URL. Next, I use the common functions like create under engine and session maker. As per the SQL Alchemy documentation, the engine is the starting point for any SQL Alchemy application. It's the home base for the actual database and its DB API. In order to interact with the database, a session object is required. The purpose of SessionMaker is to provide a factory for session objects with a fixed configuration. The declarative under base characteristic is used to create a base class. This function is described in sqlalchemy.ext.declarative module. Later, we're going to inherit it to create database models. At line 22, we will create an instance of a session local, which is actually a database session. We are done with the DB config part. Next, we need to deal with something called migrations. It basically performs schema migrations whenever we add or drop tables or columns from our databases. For our tutorial, we will be using Alembic. It is a widely used library for database migrations. You might have already heard about it, commonly used with the Flask framework. Do check the official documentation of Alembic if you're interested to get deeper into it. Let's begin by installing the Alembic package with version 1.6.5. This is the version which we're going to use. After successfully installing Alembic, we'll move ahead with initializing the setup. I'm going to type Alembic init Alembic. It creates a subdirectory named Alembic in the project root and creates a few files and a subdirectory named versions, which keep track of migration files. We are interested in the env.py file, which we're interested in modifying and updating our database configuration. Again, I'm going to do the necessary imports.
make sure to point target metadata to base metadata. I will create a get under URL function where I will be returning the database connection string. We are done with the Alembic setup. Next, we're going to create models for our user module. Let's create our first model. First, I'll do the necessary imports. I'm going to create a class called user, which is going to inherit base. My table name will be represented as users. Now I will define the necessary columns like ID, name, email, and password. ID will be the primary key and it gets auto incremented on every new row insert. Name will be str a string and a maximum length of 50. Email will be a string, but with a unique index. Password will also be a string with a max of 255 characters. We won't be storing passwords as plain text. It will be encrypted, and then it's going to be stored in the database. For encrypting the password, I will create a separate file called hashing, where I will be writing the encryption logic. We're going to use the passlib package. You can see it has been mentioned in the Fast API documentation as well. We won't be using bcrypt. Instead, we will use argon2. Argon2 is a modern ASIC resistant and GPU resistant secure key derivation function. It has better password cracking resistance. Let's install the package. Installation is done. Let me update the requirements.txt file. I will move to the hashing file and do the necessary imports from pat the passlib library. I create two functions verify under password and get under password under hash. This is something which I have taken directly from the fast API documentation. You can refer to that directly. We're done with the hashing. Next, we will import this file in models. Relationship we don't require now, we can remove it, but definitely we're going to use it in upcoming videos. In line 18, the get under password under hash function will return the encrypted password and this will be stored in the database. The check under password function will verify whether the plain text password and the encrypted password hash is valid or not. We are done with the implementation for our user model. Next, 
we're going to create our first migration. But before that, I need to register the model in the environment so it can be tracked easily. I'll open the terminal and run the command Alembic revision dash dash auto generate. As you can clearly see, it has created a migration file, which will be residing under the versions directory. The migration file has been created successfully. Let's move and migrate the new changes into our database. I type the command Alembic upgrade head. Let me check in the database explorer and verify that new tables are appearing. Yes, two new tables have been created. There is a table named Olympic under version, which basically keeps history of all migrations applied. You can compare its similarity with the Django migrations table if you've previously worked with Django. Even our users table has been successfully created and the column names are reflected in the UI. We finally created our first table in Postgres using FastAPI with the help of Alembic. In the next video, we will be focusing on writing REST APIs and performing CRUD transactions.